Voilà, next. Thank you so much. Huh? Yeah, I, it's true, in 2004, we, we print uh, the first chair, monolithic uh, chair, uh, and it was an adventure, and, it, and we did it uh, with SolidWorks. Okay? <laughs> so I will talk today about uh, consuming in a sustainable world. And uh, I'm starting with a, a slide of an abbey. It's an old abbey in France uh, called Abbey de Fontevraud. It was built in the 12th century. And uh, so what we do, we do architecture, interior architecture, and uh, product design. And it's uh, the, the energy which is consumed uh, in the world, 50%. I'm not sure about my, uh, my numbers, but I think it's about this, 50% is used to, to cool or to heat buildings. So we have to be uh, very efficient, very clever with this energy, how we, we make things. Also, we can ask ourselves, is it good to, to keep a building or to, to smash it, to destroy it? We will make it maybe more efficient, but also we have culture. We have something which is already built. So this abbey uh, was, uh, was first a huge abbey in the, near, on the Loire Valley. And uh, one day it became an hospital. And after it became a prison. And now it's a culture center and an hotel. So uh, it, as a, an architect now, when you think about sustainability, you have to imagine that what you have designed, the building, sorry, I want to, the building you have designed will, uh, will stay for a long, long time. So you have to imagine not something you will smash very quickly. And we are so used to, uh, uh, to, 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 to do so every five years a new restaurant. That's also what I do. But no, we have to, when we design a building, maybe it will be something else. So we have to be uh, open to, to this uh, idea. So here we are in an, it was a chapel. It has uh, the strength of a chapel. And uh, I, uh, I transform it into a bar. So it has the energy of the chapel. Uh, but when you, you speak, it has echo. Uh, the, made, the, 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 the walls are made of stone. And in winter, they are like sponge. The, it's very cold uh, with, with the stone. So what we did, we, we put this big piece of fabric and they will uh, uh, capture the sound, break the echo, and uh, we uh, redo the floor. We have the heating coming from there, but also on the table. On the table, uh, we, we have a heating system very close to you, like uh, a long time ago, or also uh, now, when you walk with a, a little uh, piece of something which is very hot under your, your, your clothes. And also, uh, on the side, we put blankets. Uh, so you, you will never be uh, cold. Uh, and in the middle, I, I put a big piece of wood, uh, simple material, raw, uh, oak, maybe material which were there with the monk. They, they use this material. And me, I want to work with craftsmen who are living 50 kilometers around the, the abbey. I don't want to go too far. So uh, I, I will have to knock on doors and to, to see incredible craftsmen who will help me to do the project. And so we, we transform it totally. Here, before it was where the monk will speak. So we, we keep the spirit uh, of the, the space and you, you can speak, you can be all together. Uh, in, a, in a new way, so I didn't change the, the place, just a little bit before people were just speaking together. It was the, the only place where the monk were able to speak, bef bef because at the other time they, are, they had to be silent. Here it's the big refectoire where they were all eating together, and uh, we 
Okay, we use another way, our monk technology, try to be uh, just common sense, easy. Uh, it's a refectoire, so what do you do with the chair? Uh, I'm afraid all the time I have designed so many restaurants, the chairs are destroyed uh, when you move them. So me, I use the chair as a decoration. I took them, it's a foldable chair in oak, and I put it on the side with the, the table. We can fold them and they become a part uh, of, the, of the space. Uh, the, this big panel, uh, because of course I didn't have the right to do a hole, just in between stones where you have the cement, it's the only place I am allowed to do something. This place is, was built in the 12th century. It's a, it's a jewel. I don't need, I don't have the right to make a hole. Only the floor I was able to touch. So here we have this big panel and they, and they become our uh, sound proofing uh, system. But they, they speak with the space and we use linen, uh, linen also the reference with a, a simple raw material. We, it's a restaurant, it's an hotel, we need to eat. And at the beginning, okay, we, we thought we will buy uh, something, we will buy plates. And uh, on my way to the Abbey, I saw a little sign, okay, of people make a potter. So just knock on his door. It was just 13 kilometers from the Abbey, and we went to see him with the chef. And we explained what we will eat in the restaurant, how, and we, we made everything. So it's giving him not to work for the whole year, but of course, the, 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 the plates will be broken during the year. So he, when he has not too much work, he will start to make his production, cook it, uh, the color. And when you are using this, you are using also what the monk or the prisoner were using. But it's a good way to touch something which is right, not coming from far away. And you can go to visit the potter and he will show and he's a master with color. So. Uh, now, the, the way to do things has changed. Ten years ago, uh, as an interior architect, I had to be careful with, uh, to be green. But it was not in my guts. It, because all my practice was totally different. I learned it while I was doing it. And I think we all learn it. And now, it's something which is becoming... Uh, uh, um, uh, it helps our creativity, it, it changes our mind. We are doing, I will maybe not have come to see this, this man before. I will have designed it and send it to different uh, uh, people and he will have make it. But no, I know him, he knows very well the space. We reconnect, uh, this abbey was before so strong uh, and was, everybody was living around it. It was broken and now we are making this connection. The soap is coming from a factory not very far away. The beds, all the linen, the fabric is coming from a factory who are all around. So it's a, it was research, but also to, to make this project, I think it has a, a thickness. And uh, you can go in the garden and, and cut a little bit of uh, some uh, 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 tin, and you can put it in your, in your food. Uh, it depends on what is produced during the year in the middle. And, you, and here, with your lover, you can just watch this little beautiful garden. It was before the space of prayer, where people were, the, the cloister, where people were just going around. So I, I kept this energy also of uh, just to, to, to look at something and to uh, also to, to dream. Uh, so it's a place for to be together, but also to dream and to think, not as a Christian, but just as a human being. And you can see again this idea of the raw wood, something which will crack uh, and something which will take the time. And the time will pass on it uh, like the stone. Uh, the, the bedroom, I am a big fan of the shaker. The shaker, they invent design in the 18th century. Uh, they were very, also very practical. Uh, so here on, on the hook, I can have the light, I can put my jacket, and I hide the television. Uh, the television, if I want my four stars as an hotel, I need to have it. It's stupid, huh? because in this uh, hotel, I don't need a television. 
and now we have uh, little tablets and we really don't need the television. But if I want my four stars, so I transform the television in a piece of art. So the, the, through the little holes, uh, the, the TV can play and will create uh, something, an, an, an infinite art piece. Again, simple, simple tricks, uh, just a, a rubber belt to keep the, the oh, I have to go faster? The, 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 rib, the rubber belt to, to keep the, uh, the, okay, I go faster. Another one, so it's true, we are in France, we have the chance, like in Italy, uh, to have beautiful buildings. Before this one was for horses, and we, we made a restaurant of it. Just first sketch, so at the beginning, we don't use uh, the 3Ds so much. Uh, it's, uh, it's more the, the pencil, so super efficient. Uh, watercolor, it is a watercolor from Sanjit, my partner. So they were horses, and we visit the space, and we see this. It's one of the largest timber structure uh, in Strasbourg. It's beautiful, from the 17th century. And we saw that, and say it's where people should eat. It's, it's marvelous. Before, we were here at this level, but now we have to go up. It's too beautiful to see all this wood. But it's complex. We made a big hole, and we make a stairs which will uh, work like uh, uh, a tornado. So when you arrive, because I don't want you to use the elevator, I really want you to walk six meters. So I, I need to attract, so I need to mesmerize you to go up. But again, we use what we had, okay, as the, the maximum of the material we had. And at the end, we have this. Like uh, the horse, the horse is going, is going in circle, his hairs are floating, but also we have uh, ruins, everything falls down and it's broken and you can see the, the ceiling. Uh, again, big discussion with how to transform something, which if you don't do anything, it will become a ruin in 100 years, 200 years, it will, be just, it will just collapse. There are so many castles, beautiful things in France, we don't have the money. To, uh, to, to, to restore them. The same in Italy, it's a big problem. So we need to, to, to do something different with them. Uh, this is the leather. Leather, okay, this is the opposite of stone. Huh? Okay, we, we, we use the flesh, the, the skin of cow. This is uh, the Hermes leather. Okay, it's coming from Haas. Haas is a company who produced the leather for, for them but they will only use the first, second choices. The third, the fourth, the fifth, they will throw it away. When they receive all the skin, they don't know if there is a little scratch, if a, a bee uh, bite the, the, the cow a long time ago, if the, the, the cow had a scratch, we don't know. It's only when it's finished that you can see, oh, there is a little scratch, sorry, I will not take it. Is it clever? Uh, I don't know. We used it, they gave it to us because they don't know what to do with it. And they, I don't see the scratch. Okay, uh, other, other pictures. Uh, I will go a little bit further. Uh, the, the bedrooms, also we used the timber, it's so beautiful. Uh, so we also do uh, products. Uh, this is what we, I designed this year for Zanota. Uh, and also now, when we design uh, products, we have to be very careful. Uh, we have to think about the future. Like the, the building before, we have to think that they will uh, be used for, for something else, for another use. This one, it's a piece of, it's a chair for one moment. But one day it will be something else. It's aluminium and plastic. Okay, so the aluminium, easy to recycle, uh, it's the structure. and. Uh, we, we can do something different. The plastic is recycled plastic. So the plastic, I have a, a very uh, uh, weird relation with it because it's uh, first it's invented by human, the material. Uh, it's 200 millions of years of energy of the sun in uh, uh, attract by uh, leaves and trees and grass. Uh, for 200 millions of years, under uh, the, the earth, under salt, under seawater, and it became petrol. And we are using it and burning it. So 
And it's so abundant that we, we think it costs nothing. But no, it's 200 millions of years of sun energy. So it's very precious. We have to be very careful with what we do. So maybe when we design things, we have to be careful. But also, it has to be easy to disassemble, easy to redo something with it. So it's the beginning of this, uh, maybe this understanding of uh, plastic, our invention, our monster. Uh, the, the chair, easy to, to grasp, uh, you know, Zanotta, it's modernity and fun, uh, all together uh, joyful. So it was this idea, a little, uh, humor uh, in, in the design. And uh, this other one uh, for Fiam, uh, and it's uh, the idea of wood. So wood uh, is the, the plastic of the future. For many years, we, me, when I start my practice as a designer, I knew plastic, I knew metal, I knew nothing about wood. Wood was like, a, maybe plywood, yes, or MDF. Oh, yes, it was so beautiful, MDF, we can do so many things. No, uh, now we understood that wood uh, is taking this energy from the sun forever. Uh, with our technology, with our understanding of what's wood, we will use it, it will be in rockets, we will use it, we will transform it, and it's the material of the future. It's uh, uh, the, 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 our best material uh, with uh, what we have already, but this one can give us many, many more possibilities. So with uh, technology, creativity, uh, wood is the plastic of the future. Thank <music> you.